Are you looking to connect a domain with a new Google Workspace account so that you can set up your professional and branded business emails? Well, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can correctly set up your Google Workspace account with a domain so that your business emails are working the way that they should. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. Now, before we go ahead and dive into Google Workspace, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and dive into Google Workspace. Okay, so to connect your custom domain with a Google Workspace account correctly so that you can engage in business emails using Google Workspace, simply head over to your browser and type in workspace.google.com or feel free to click the link in the description below this video and that's gonna take you here. Then what we can do is go ahead and get started with a free trial to initially set up our Google Workspace account. Now, if you currently already have a Google Workspace account and you're just looking to connect your domain to verify your domain, then simply skip over to the next chapter. However, for those that are yet to set up a Google Workspace account and create your business emails, simply go ahead and click on start free trial. Then add your business name, then select the number of employees, including yourself, and then come down and select your region. Then come down and click on next. Here you want to add your first name, surname, and current email address. And once you've added those details, come down and click on next. Then here you'll be asked if you already have a business domain. If you currently don't have one, don't worry, I'll show you how to get one in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and click on, yes, I have one that I can use. Then come down and add your domain name. Now, if you currently do not have a custom domain for your business, what you can do is head over to hostinger.com or feel free to click the link in the description below this video and that's gonna take you here. Then simply navigate up to the top right hand side and click on domains. Then all you need to do is simply navigate down to the search bar and type in your domain name. Now, if that domain name has already been taken, then you will need to create a variation of that domain. Now, the reason I like using hosting it is it's affordable, easy to use, and offers important tools that you can use with your domain. For example, you can simply create a website using WordPress or hosting is built in AI website builder. From my research and experience, I've found that hosting is one of the best all in one domain and hosting providers on the market. Okay, so take your time to purchase your new business domain if you currently don't have one. Then what we'll do is meet you back inside Google Workspace. Okay, so back inside Google Workspace, once you've added your domain name, simply come down and click on next. And as you can see, email sent to your domain won't be affected until you set up email with this account. So what we're gonna do is come down and click on next. And because this is just a tutorial, I'm going to select no thanks. However, I recommend selecting okay. Then come down and add your username. This is going to be used for your business email address. I'm just going to add my name. And as you can see, this will be my first business email address, stuart at tutorialit.co. Then come down and add a password, then select I'm not a robot, and then agree and continue. Then here, Google Workspace is going to recommend a suitable plan for your business. Now you can always downgrade and upgrade to a different subscription at any time. So what we wanna do is come down and try for free for 14 days. Then navigate through the process of adding your business details. Then once you've added your business details and payment method, simply navigate up to I understand and then click on next. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and exit out of this. Then what we first wanna do is verify our domain. Then we can create new users and we can activate Gmail for this domain. So to verify our domain, simply go ahead and click on verify. Or if we navigate back over to our admin dashboard, you can come down to domains and locate your domain verification process down here. Simply go ahead and click on verify domain and then click on protect. Here you can use the text verification method or you can switch to a different method. I recommend using the text verification, then come down and click on continue. Now what we wanna do is navigate up here and click on copy. We want to copy this snippet over here. This is the text record that we then need to add to our domain register. Then navigate down here and you can see that our domain is hosted by Hostinger. Again, if we come down here, we've already gone ahead and copied this code. And what we need to do is find the location to add this text record. So go ahead and log into your domain provider's account. I'm gonna go ahead and log into Hostinger. 
And as you can see, inside my hosting account, I've selected domains. Then I wanna navigate down to the domain that I want to verify and then click on manage. Then navigate over to name servers and click on change. And here, what we wanna do is locate manage DNS records. Here, we want to select type and then come down and select text. Then under name, make sure you have this at sign, then paste in the text value that we copied from Google Workspace. Then here we need to add the TTL. To do that, head back to Google Workspace. And here is the TTL that we want to copy, 86400. Then head back to your domain provider and then paste in that TTL in here. Then all you need to do is click on add record. And once you've successfully added that text record, simply head back to Google Workspace. Then come down and click on verify my domain. And what you wanna do is give Google Workspace a moment to load. This could take up to five minutes while Google Workspace verifies your text record that you added to your domain. Now the next important thing that we want to do in order to set up our business emails inside Google Workspace is to activate Gmail for tutorialit.co for your domain. To do that, simply navigate over to activate or what we can do is navigate over to admin and then come down and what we wanna do is set up MX records to direct business emails through Gmail. So to do that, go ahead and click on set up MX records. Again, that's gonna take you down here, click on activate now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just wanna mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities, and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Then navigate up here and select these two options because we're using a new domain. However, if you have existing email addresses for this domain, then you want to make sure that you've added all existing email addresses to this domain. The existing email addresses that you have set up with your domain will stop receiving emails. Okay, so I'm going to navigate down and click on continue. And what we want to do is set up MX records to set up the email. And what we first want to do is delete old MX settings. This is if you have any in your DNS records. Then come down and what we're going to do is go ahead and copy this here and then head back to your domain provider. Then as you can see, I've got these two MX records. What I want to do is delete these MX records. Then once you've deleted your old MX records, simply navigate over to type, click here, then click on MX. Keep at selected here under name, then next to mail server, paste in the details that we copied earlier, then under priority, select one, and then with the TTL, you want to add 3600. Then simply go ahead and click on add record. And as you can see, the DNS record has been created successfully. Now what we wanna do is follow that same process just like I showed you, however, with these four records. So what you wanna do is go ahead and copy this record here, and remember the priority is five, then head back to your domain provider, click on type MX, then keep name the at symbol, then paste in that code. And for priority, what we wanna do is add five and then 3,600 again and add record. And what we need to do now is repeat that exact same process with these remaining three MX server addresses. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that now. And as you can see down here, I've successfully added those five records. Now let's head back to our Google Workspace account. Once you've deleted and added your new MX records, simply come down and click on activate Gmail. And as you can see, all those MX records have been added successfully. And the last thing that you need to do is simply go ahead and click on create new users. And that's going to allow you to add additional users to your Workspace account. Each of your new users will have their own Google Workspace account and business email associated to this domain. Now, if you want to learn more about fully setting up your Google Workspace account, this includes adding new users, email aliases, adding an email signature and more, then I'll add that Google Workspace tutorial down below in the description. Also, if you're finding that your emails are not being delivered correctly, and maybe you're not receiving some emails or your emails are going into spam, then I'll add another tutorial down below in the description, which will help you improve your email deliverability. However, just like that, you have successfully set up your business emails, you've verified your domain, and you've set up your MX records. You are now all connected and ready to start using Google Workspace and all of your apps, including your Gmail account for leveraging your business emails. 
And there we have it guys, that is it for this Google Workspace and Domain Setup Guide. Remember to check out the following video tutorials that will help you on your journey with Google Workspace. Now if you have any questions about this video, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.